getting closer to midnight I try to get closer to you Drinking courage from my red cup now Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be chatting to you about how to take photos in a weather that is not ideal. So as you see on this photo shoot, the weather was less than perfect. It was pretty overcast. I knew it was going to be lashing rain very soon. So I just wanted to take advantage of the moodiness and still create some sort of an interesting story. We also ended up shooting in the rain and I'm going to tell you how I did it too. So stay tuned. Before we get into this video, please make sure to check out my Instagram first. I post some really good stuff in there. And secondly, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to not miss any of my future videos. And let's get right into it. Guys, you've been asking me and I finally delivered. I created a preset pack for light to medium skin tones and medium to dark skin tones. I know lots of you are struggling with those, trying to figure out how to color grade each. So I made it a bit easier for you and created those packs. They are working both on outdoor and indoor images. And I also have a mobile version of them so you can check them out. I am going to be giving you 30% off for the first three days. So make sure not to miss it. So to make this particular shoot work with the weather, I decided to go for something a bit more dramatic and something a bit more extreme. In this particular scenario, my model had really beautiful blonde hair, so I kind of wanted to play with that mermaid vibe. I used a dress that you guys probably seen in a lot of my other videos. I just really like it. I think it's very very style. It is very nudie in a way, so I kind of like it because it's a risque dress, but it also works very well. I love that. Yes, that's gorgeous. Okay, so it's getting a bit dark, but we're gonna power through. So this is kind of like a very mermaidy kind of vibe. She has like loads of hair in front of her face, so it's kind of covering her boobs. And then the one leg is sticking out, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm good. I think whenever you're shooting in a weather that is less than ideal, like that day where it was cloudy, overcast, and eventually started lashing raining, I think it's very important to just try and adapt the story and just see it in a light that would suit for that particular weather. Beautiful. In super heavy overcast situations like this one, I always keep in mind to try and place the model uh, where it's the brightest. Sometimes it can look pretty dull and gray. Um, for this particular one, I wanted to put her against the rock just to add a bit more character. I had the waves crashing around her as well because I thought it would make it a bit more dramatic. Um, that's basically what I decided to do with the shoot, just make it look as dramatic as possible. Because, you know, obviously I wouldn't be able to do that super dreamy, bright kind of photo shoot that I usually do. Um, but that's that's okay, it works for me as well. By making the photo shoot more moody, I just kind of made it fit with the weather a bit better. You know, there's no point in shooting super nice, sunny kind of um, images when the weather isn't like that. It's not going to look good. I still applied my usual body oil. I linked it down below if you want to check it out. Um, and I just started shooting straight away before it started raining because I knew I probably had like 15 or 20 minutes before it did. So once we started shooting, I just got her into um, the water. I had the waves crashing around. I was constantly concentrating on having very strong poses, very nice curvy shapes because I thought it was looking pretty good. I had the hair in front of her um, boobs because <laughs> I wanted to cover them basically. I just didn't want her to be flashing. I wanted it to be very kind of poetic in a way. We also had a little guest on set. We had a little monkey that was kind enough to pick my bikinis for me. He was not very impressed with my orange face mask and he let it alone, but it was a bit scary. I was actually worried he was going to run away with it, but thankfully he didn't. Oh my God, it's raining. Yeah. 
After we shot for around 15 minutes, it actually started raining, which I was really disappointed about because I was like, oh no, you know, we barely started, we barely got there and straight away it was raining. So I was like, that's not going to be great. It's going to be lashing torrential rain very soon. So we just shot as long as we could. I put my model down in the sand because I thought that the color scheme looked really well. You know, her uh, light skin with the color of the dress and the sand, it kind of all was nice and golden and it just looked really beautiful. And then as soon as it started raining really heavily we decided to hide somewhere and just look for a place that was a bit more covered one thing that i always wanted to do is to shoot in the rain but obviously it's it's very hard to organize because the rain never happens when you want it to happen it always happens when you don't expect it or you know when you're not prepared for it so i was like hmm what if i just try and actually shoot in the rain um so in the current situation i was under this uh, beach umbrella it was not a great umbrella it wore wasn't a lot of space it was absolutely lashing rain it was so heavy you know it's bali rain it's not your typical tiny little drizzle so i got my model to stand out in the rain and i was still under the umbrella because the rain was going all the possible directions i was still getting a lot of water on me which was very concerning for me and my gear in particular my camera is so wet guys this is this is how my gear dies i swear so much water on this thing i'm concerned now I am putting this thing in rice. Obviously, in this kind of situation, the most important thing is to try and keep your camera as dry as possible. A lot of the new cameras are weather sealed, but because mine is a bit beat up at this point, I was severely concerned about its mental health and well-being. And rightly so, you know, my whole t-shirt was wet, so I couldn't really pat it dry or anything like that. It wasn't really doing anything. I had raindrops in front of my lens, so it was a bit stressful, I won't lie. But I just made sure to take breaks, and if the rain was going in my direction, I would just try and hide as much as possible i was using the zoom so i can be as much underneath the umbrella and my model was out in there i have to say i really enjoyed the light because it was very nice and dull but not in a bad way and i was getting that really nice um, texture of the rain as well which i found really beautiful you know usually in this kind of situation if i was doing a proper rain shoot that i was prepared for i would definitely have an assistant with an umbrella standing over me protecting me from all the angles maybe even having some sort of a plastic over it and so on but obviously here it was such an impromptu idea and I only had Jeremy who was my videographer so there was no option for me to just do that Nice And just twist a tiny bit much, yeah And close your eyes, super dreamy uh, Okay So when you're shooting in the rain, just don't do this sand and just like yeah yeah not too much yeah just a tiny bit yeah mm -hmm. yeah and on your shoulders yeah Maybe even the tiny bit tree or I mean probably you won't see it on the hair too much. As about my settings I didn't really change that much. I was shooting on 2.8 first I think and it was nice but it was a bit blurry and a bit soft and I wanted a bit more definition of the background so I started shooting on 4.5 5.6. I did like the colors more however the rain wasn't as visible but that could have also been because the rain didn't go as hard anymore when I changed my aperture. So I'm a bit closer to me, come on closer, uh huh, uh huh, perfect. Okay, and now come like all the way here, 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 uh huh, perfect. As for aftermath, I made sure that as soon as I got home, I took the camera out of the camera bag. I put it in a bag of rice, basically, just to be safe. Um, it wasn't really acting up or working weird or anything like that. But, you know, better to be safe than sorry. Um, it's an old method, but it works. And yeah, my camera is still fine. It's still shooting. It's still kicking so i guess it worked now shooting in the rain was definitely a bit out of my comfort zone it's not what i usually do um, but i did enjoy it i think it was really cool i think if i was a bit more prepared and maybe i had a bit of a better setup to keep my camera dry it would have been better because you know i was obviously so stressed about my camera getting absolutely soaked um, but either way i think i really like the photos i don't know let me know what you think do you like it um which is your favorite photo let me know
okay guys that's it for today thank you so much for tuning in again check out my new presets they are definitely my favorite packs i released so far and i'm so excited you can get 30 percent off for the first three days and then they will be back to the usual price so make sure not to miss it and if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time